Hello everybody, in this episode we're going to be making a side mount adapter for this engine stand. I can't tear down the bottom end since my actual current engine stand is going right into the oil pan which I need to remove. I tried searching online, a few people used to have them, looks like they're not selling anymore. It's not readily available. Went down to the actual steel supply store, it'll be pretty easy to make one. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first step is going to be actually making the plate that bolts to the motor. I'm lucky enough to have the original exhaust manifold, which should make it really easy for me just to grab a transfer punch. Come in here, make sure this is somewhat lined up. Drop this on in there. Give it a good little healthy smack. That's where I need to drill. And I'll just drill one at a time through the drill press just to make sure I don't mess up the holes. Should be easy enough. Alright, so this is actually a bigger hole, so I'm actually just going to flip the part over this way I can get it a little bit more centered. And I'll just kind of eyeball this here, grab the transfer punch, give it a good little smack. Let's go drill that hole. Yeah, that's working out pretty good. Just continue on the process. Now that all those are drilled, I'm just going to scribe the line here. Give me a reference point. I need to cut these corners off. If not, they'll interfere with the block. So everything seems to be lining up just fine. Up next is the main center post. All right, so now I got to cut this kind of main tube. And I'm hoping to be able to make two stands. So there's my center, and I'll cut it out of 45. That's the plan. All right, so I'm just going to mark somewhat of center so that I can kind of line up that uh, main post here. something like that. Get this ready for welding. Another thing I'm going to do here is just 
kind of weld in these like gussets, if you will, just for a little bit more support. Just kind of winging it here, trying to find center. Doesn't need to be crazy precision. So there it is. The only thing really left to do is to do the kind of um, keyhole, but I'll do that once I actually install it and I'll just mark it then instead of trying to measure it and make it perfect. Other than that, uh, that's pretty much the concept. All that's left to do is clean up, then we'll come back, weld it up, and keep this video going. All right. Now it's just a matter of buzzing her up, I think. Tap in. I come here. So you can kind of see what we're going for here. It's all tacked in. Now let's just buzz it in place. This thing is so sketchy. What in the world? There we go. All right. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Well. On its own weight now, so that's good. However, now that I think about it, I need to drill a hole in the bottom in order to flip it around as well. All right, so overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. Sure, I probably drilled that hole beforehand. It went in a little crooked. Not the end of the world. Tomorrow will be another day. I will uh, flip the motor around, drill a new hole that is perpendicular, and start tearing apart the bottom end. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.